Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today, we are working on a pair of Ralph Lauren Shell Cordovan loafers. Now, these have a bit of a, a bit of a story to them from the customer. Care to tell? Yeah, so he had these resold, and when we get out to the shop, you're gonna see exactly the condition of these things. And they're not that bad, the, but the, they had JR soles, they had JR heels. Mm -hmm. The only issue was that um, they were they were cemented and the welt was actually pulled away from the upper. Now, I'm not sure if uh, I thought for the most part it was a it was a pretty good resole, except for you know some of the the details. I don't know if the stitching on the welt was uh, just kind of a and he overlooked it or or what, but. Um, sometimes it is in the details. And so we were just happy to help get this one back up to what the customer wanted. So anyways, uh, we're gonna get these out to the shop. We're gonna take them apart. Uh, again, even though they were just recently resold. So as you watch this video, don't you know comment, uh, it looks like they're brand new. Why are you reselling them again? This is why. So anyways, get out there and take care of business. So let's get to it. All right, so here is the shoe. Now, if you're looking at the bottom, you're like, man, he's got JR heels, soles, looks pretty good. And actually, when we first looked at this, I was like, not too bad, but here was the issue with it. For one, it was trench, but it wasn't stitched. It was stitched to a midsole, um, but then I can't tell if the old stitches were pulled out or not, but the welt was actually pulled away and snapped from the actual upper itself. So the foundation of the whole thing was jeopardized. And so this is gonna require a new, um, a new welt, and then we'll have to rebuild. So it's, it's really a shame because it really, the finish of it was quite pretty, but let's do it. This thing has so many nails going through it, it's basically just perforated. So when I try to pull it off, it just starts ripping anyways. This thing has a lot of glue too, but it's all right. I don't know if he did this just for uh, decoration purposes, and if that's the case, then it's fine, but this would look okay, guess, if it was like a blind stitch, but it's just glued on. So yeah, it, I can't tell, but these stitches, it, it looks like there's two rows of stitches on the welt but there's no stitching here. It's just, it was sanded down flat and then a new sole was just glued on top. Just ripping. This thing was in bad shape. Time is of the essence, so we're not doing hot cork, we're doing traditional sheet cork. We're not using traditional glue that we normally do, we're actually using rubber cement, 
and it will hold it in place, but it'll also uh, allow the next resole, you can get that cork out a lot easier. So before we put some glue on these soles, if you like this video, then give us a thumbs up, go down and hit the subscribe button. But we're gonna take just a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, Carl Friedrich. As you guys know, Heath and I are big fans of Carl Friedrich and their products. We both own several products. I've got a minimalist wallet that I've been carrying for the past couple of years now on a daily basis, and I absolutely love the wallet. Well, today I'm gonna to introduce you to the latest addition to their luggage line, the Carry On Pro. The Carry On Pro features a more functional design that is suited for avid travelers, digital nomads, and busy professionals. The Pro term gets its name from the added functionality of the front pocket and laptop compartment, which is there to make your airport experience easy and smooth. What are some of the features that I like so much? Well, let me tell you. Beautiful Italian leather detailing, a zipperless aluminum frame, which means this ultra durable frame provides a rigid premium experience. A lightweight polycarbonate shell, which is designed to withstand the rigors of modern day travel. Two TSA approved combination locks to keep your content safe. Silent 360 degree Japanese spinner wheels. With Japanese design Hinamoto wheels, this suitcase can go wherever and however you go in silence. And last but not least, you can attach your own power bank and charge on the go. Ladies and gents, make sure to check out Carl Friedrich's new Carry On Pro in the description box down below. I will put the link down there for you. Also, a big thank you to Carl Friedrich for giving all of you a 15% off discount on all of their Carl Friedrich products. Now, this is for a limited time, so make sure you check them out today. All right, so we're gonna rebuild this hill and you've seen us do this in different ways before. We're actually gonna be using a, uh, a split lift for the hill or a hill lift. Um, some people call this just different things. It's not an actual stack. It's actually just a strip of leather that has been scived down and then 
cut into uh, little strips to help it bend. Some shoemakers will, won't even cut these things. They will bend it, wet it, and pound it into place to make it look like a horseshoe. Uh, I think it's a little easier to cut these notches in it. So basically what it does is sometimes, and this one's not real dramatic, but there's kind of a dome in the back. And if you put a flat piece on there, it's gonna bend down. So this actually is wider on the outside and then tapers down to the inside. And then you can start stacking your leather on top and it just kind of fills in that void. Um, you could put a flat piece down and then sand it down in the middle, but this is just kind of a traditional way of doing it. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, like always, we're gonna polish these up. Now these are shell cordovan, um, so what we're gonna do is use some of these fierce shell cordovan cream in brown, and then I'm also gonna use just some other shoe cream to kind of go along the welt there and kind of you know put a little conditioner in that and polish that up as well. So let's get to it. Okay, we're back in the shop. Now before we show you the final product, again, like we always say, if you enjoyed this video, we would really, really appreciate it if you would give us a big thumbs up, hit the little thumbs up button down below. It just helps us to realize that you like this type of video and wanna see more content like it. Also, if you enjoy the channel, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. That's really important because then YouTube will hopefully uh, let you guys know whenever we drop new videos. Okay. Let's talk about the shoes. One quick thing that I wanted to throw out there that doesn't quite talk about what we did, but I did mention these are Ralph Lauren. Now, what I've noticed from the past is most Ralph Lauren shoes are made by Crockett and Jones, correct? A lot of them. A, a lot of them. He, there were, there's a couple of other people that I think have made, so, and I may be wrong on that, but I think there was a couple of them, but Crockett and Jones was one of the ones that has done their yeah. a lot. And you know us, we are not big fans of designer brands. Most of them I think are junk. And I think a lot of the folks buying those are buying it for the name only and you are not buying it for the quality. However, Ralph Lauren generally does a very good job of- uh, Spares no expense. Yeah. He goes, he's like, hey, listen, I do clothes. So I'm going to the guy who does shoes and let him do his thing. Yep. So- We've always um, been very impressed by it. Okay, now uh, what did we do to these shoes? All right, so he already had JR on there, and so he wanted to stick with another JR, but he said, hey, if I'm gonna have them redone, then let's go ahead and put the graffitis on there. The graffitis, those are such a fun sole to do. Yeah. Um, and to complement that splash of green up on the sole, we did a little Kelly green stripe around the top lift, also JR, and then we Triumph had- Toe plates the- Yeah, the Triumph toes. on the front, and then uh, a little, some, some tacks on the back to balance out the, the brass. And then we also had to re-welt these things because yeah. it was already pulled away. There's no, there's nothing, there's no other option except for putting a new welt on. So we did that, leather midsoles, uh, new replaced stack the original one, new stack blocks. Yeah. And they basically, they got everything from 
the welt up brand new leather yeah. and the best. And like I said, these are shell cordovan. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we didn't do a lot of work to them. Some of you guys are like, why didn't you get the, uh, you know, the little waves out of it, the creases? Um, you know, that, it takes a while. And if you've watched any of our other videos regarding shell cordovan in the past, you'll know that you, know, you can often use like a metal spoon, you can use a deer bone, uh, but it takes a lot of time to really work those, uh, those creases out of the shoe. Um, but so what we did is again, just use shell cordovan cream on these and a little bit of um, shoe cream just along the welts and the edges of the shoe just to put the color and conditioner back in there and now they're ready to go. So anyways, we will get these boxed up, sent back to the customer and uh, you know, on to the next shoe repair. Yep. So anyways, thanks again guys for joining us and until next time, y'all have a good one.